looked into this and found that we had a better solution. Thank you, gentlemen. Roll call. Mr. Underwood. Yes. Dr. Kincaid. Yes. Mayor Coon. Yes. Mr. Burnaby. Yes. Mrs. Sapp. Yes. Do I have a motion for resolution number 2017-036? Mayor Coon. Dr. Kincaid. Move this approval of this resolution 2017-036, a resolution on this pilot of Penn Hills County of Allegheny, Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, authorizing the execution of a four-year lease agreement with Star Current. That's correct. Flex Financial of Kalamazoo, Michigan, for four bike pack 15 cardiac monitor simulators uh, through the Pennsylvania Coaster Program. Do I have a second? Second. Motion made and second. Any comments from the audience? Comments from council? Mayor Coon. Mrs. South. I just, I'm curious just to ask that, is it the norm for um, the municipality to lease the equipment? That's my first question. Well, uh, yeah, normally we lease equipment to uh, to buy them at the end of the lease for a dollar uh, instead of coming up with, with the entire amount. If the interest rate, we feel that it's reasonable uh, versus dishing out uh, the amount all at once. Uh, all these things are evaluated. Uh, this particular contract is on the CoStar, uh, which is it's the state, uh, state contract, uh, so it does not require separate bidding because the state already had uh, conducted that step for us so we kind of piggyback on, on on the state for that or the county uh, whichever the contract belongs to so i just know that other state programs they usually have grants for the purchase of this type of equipment is there any available for our municipality well we're always looking for grants uh the, the ems supervisor uh, constantly looking for uh, grants and, and this particular one uh, actually uh, it, it came just in time because the, the Phillips monitors that we have uh, they were no longer uh, supported by uh, the manufacturer in terms of, uh, of, of their repairs and upgrades and so on and so forth okay. but in terms of looking for grants we're constantly looking uh, looking for grants uh, every director uh, they take it upon themselves, they go after it. Uh, most of them they get processed through uh, Chris's office in the planning department. Uh, other directors, uh, uh, the chief goes after him. Uh, Diane, the, the supervisor, Fitzhenry for the EMS, they go after it. Public Works, Sparks, all these folks are constantly looking for months. But unfortunately, we don't, uh, uh, we're, not, we're not successful all the time. However, we are. Uh, uh, between time and time, uh, we, we get some. So, if any anyone citizens uh, would come across some information with regards to a grant, they can just contact the department. Is that right? Oh, absolutely. They can they can contact my office, and then I'll distribute the information. Okay. And yeah. then finally, my last question is: What happens after the four years? Does the equipment become obsolete? And then what happens? Do we just go into a renewed agreement again? You go into a renewed, uh, depending upon these type of products, it's constantly uh, uh, upgraded now with new software and stuff like that. So it's it's be us to, to, to move on and get into equipment. Thank you. Any other comments from council? I just have one comment. Uh, it's really a question. Um, on the second page here, we have that uh, Steiker's Flex Financial Business reserves the right to adjust the payments prior to contract commencement in order to maintain current economics of this proposal transaction. So they have the right to adjust it until we vote on it. Once yeah, we yeah. right, once we vote on it, it will be what it is. Right. Yeah. right. Okay. All right. And what is the basic diet? Maybe you can answer this. The uh, lifespan of these. What being that Mrs. Sapp brought up about the fact that once the four years are up, are these obsolete, and would we have to go then into a new? 
generally you can get 10 to about 15 years out of a cardiac monitor. Um, currently we own, we own two of our six monitors, four of them are owned by an outside agency. So we received word that Philips is no longer producing their monitors due to FDA um, problems with the FDA and getting things approved. So they stopped production, they're not selling any additional units, uh, and they're not going to be able to service our current units beyond the next couple of years. So um, we did go out and see prices. We, we had saw prices last year from, um, from Philips, but now we had to utilize other vendors. Um, Stryker recently bought up Physio Control. Stryker produces a wide variety of medical products, including some of the power stretchers and things that we bought. So in addition to the CoStar pricing, which is really the ceiling price that they can sell the items for, we were eligible because we also own power stretchers and Lucas devices. We were also eligible for a substantial discount. And I have a couple very old physio control monitors um, that are no longer able to be used um, that they're trade they're taking as a trade so we're, we're getting another couple of thousand dollars as a trade in value on that so uh, based on what I already had in the budget um, the best way to go was with uh, a lease purchase because this is a, expensive equipment but it should last um, 10 to 15 years and, and that's why it's so expensive. Okay, so um, that, uh, so we're saying that the lifespan could be 10 to 15 years. Yes, ma'am. And this is paid off in four years. Yes, ma'am. Just so that people understand that when we say it's a lease purchase, it's not like a vehicle that you lease and at the end of the four years they take it back. At the end of the four years we pay one dollar and then we own them. Correct? Actually, at the end of the four years, I don't even think on this one that we owe them a dollar. I think it's just the four payments that we're done. We own them. And then we'll continue to buy service plans through through Stryker and Physio right. Control so that any additional computer updates or things that are that are done with them um, can be done through our service policy at a, at a much discounted rate for us. And for anybody who doesn't know what a monitor defibrillator is, it's a piece of advanced life support equipment that we use in the ambulance on a daily basis to check the cardiac rhythms of our patients. Um, if the person is in cardiac arrest, we're able to shock them. That's the defibrillator function. Um, they, they have a wide, wide range of, of functions um, that we utilize on a, on a regular basis. They meet all of the current uh, protocols and things like that. So, Well, this is good, and Diane, thanks for all the research that you did on this. I appreciate your support. Thank you. Roll call. Dr. Kincaid. Yes. Mayor Coon. Yes. Mr. Brodnicki. Yes. Mrs. Zapp. Yes. Mr. Underwood. Yes. Uh, resolution number 2017-037 was deleted. So can I have a motion for resolution number 2017-038? Mayor Coon. Um, Mr. Brodnicki, I'm sorry. <laughs> Yes, I'd like to make a motion that we approve resolution number 2017-038.